one year, two years, three years. I can't remember how long it's been since Cable got this Kid Cable uniform, but he's got a new one now, baby. Heart of Darkness has dropped. So why am I here then testing out this uniform? Well, it's because I want to show you how much worse it is. And it's basically that the new one is much better. But in any event, yeah, we want to see and take him out for a spin here because I haven't played with him in ages. So at the current rate, I couldn't tell you how much worse this uniform is or how much better the new one is. I certainly know that it's better just because I actually feel like playing like playing with cable for once. But um, here with this test, we'll be able to see for sure how much better it is. So here we are. Uh, we're going to use the same CTP for both tests. We're using the same team up here. For those of you wondering why I'm using Cable's lead instead of Polaris before you yell at me in the comments, it's because Cable's lead gives 50% ignore dodge, and the ignore dodge is super duper helpful against null world boss legends specifically. Other world boss legends, not so much, but the big dog null is a big time uh, enjoyer of the, the ignore dodge because he has very, very high dodge. So yeah, we missed the tier three on that one, but that's okay. We're doing we're doing pretty bad here. This is uh this is in the I don't want to play this character territory. Uh, there we go. A minute and twenty seconds. The big change for Cable that you're gonna notice is his rotation. It is now a three cancel five cancel four with no delays at all. So it's a slightly different combo. It's instead of three four five, it's three five four, and then the combo also has to be executed a lot faster than before. Uh, you have very little time in between three and five and four so you have to have in my opinion faster fingers than before now for some players this won't be an issue uh, but for others it will be so while i do think that cable is still proc friendly i think he's a little bit less proc friendly than before if that makes sense and i've actually gotten really lucky and i haven't missed any procs here uh, but this is my third attempt at doing this run here for you guys and so you can sort of take that uh, as sort of your indication of how proc friendly he is. If I, if the old cable uniforms were a 10 out of 10 for proc friendliness, I would say the new cable uniforms are like a 9 or an 8 out of 10 for proc friendliness, maybe a 7 out of 10. That range from between 7 and 9 is really dependent on how fast your fingers are to cancel into different skills, especially if you're trying to do the 3 cancel 5, cancel 4, cancel 6 uh, activation, that sort of combination. But as you can see here, 415. So that's, you know... 35 seconds or 45 seconds faster than the old uh, uniforms it's, it's a lot fast it's a hell of a lot faster basically long story short new uniform is a hell of a lot faster now why are we doing three five four and not some other combo like five three four alex well the main issue is that his fifth skill has a proc it has a 70 percent damage proc right there under the invincibility you want to end with five and then go into four because if any of the hits from one or two or three trigger then you're going to lose that proc so you never want to do five three four right because you want to end on four four is the skill that you can't cancel you want to get all those hits in um, so you want to end with the five four combo or if you're really fast you want to end with the five four six combo um, alternatively alternatively if you're setting up for the tier three you could just do four cancel three cancel five cancel six so as long as you're you know, the, the skill that you're going to proc on, the, the skill before that is always five, right? So it's five into four, or it's five into six, what have you. Um, I was doing five into four into six, but it's just because I'm still building up the muscle memory to do three, five, four, uh, and it hasn't uh, it hasn't kicked in yet. But the rest of the builds, as you can see here, is pretty straightforward. I'm actually missing some Uru. I don't have full Uru on him because they were Odin's Blessings and I unequipped them a while back. Uh, but that's what he's rocking with right now. I'm rank 1000, which is not that great. To be honest, we have a stage 12 Power of Angry Hulk and no artifact, and that was with a regular CTP of energy. So I do think this uniform is a pretty big upgrade for him from his other looks. These are pretty old as well, like Summer Days is from 2019. I believe X of Swords is from 2020 or 2021, um, but I could be wrong. Actually, you know what? Summer Days might be from 2020. It might not be from 2019. I actually can't, I actually can't remember. Uh, but this one, I believe, is from 2021. Uh, so it's been, it's been a, over two years for Cable. It's been, it's been quite a long time. Uh, for those of you wondering as well about his heal, uh, I didn't really notice it, to be honest. I didn't notice the, the difference in the heal. He doesn't get hit very often, which is very nice. So the healing, even though it is less, it's absolutely less than before. And you can check this very quickly by saying that he has a 5% heal for 5 seconds, which is 25%. Whereas the new Heart of Darkness cable just has the 15%. So it's actually a 10% less of a heal. Obviously, the devs could remedy this by just making this a 2-second heal for magnetic force field. 
Uh, but in the meantime, this is sort of uh, what you're working with. As far as the value proposition for cable goes, it is amazing. Even if you're not just looking for an upgrade for cable, but you're actually looking for a character that brings value to your roster, Cable is the among the highest in terms of world boss entry requirements. And he's actually the single highest male character, period. Which is kind of a big deal, because mutants in general kind of struggle outside of Professor X. But he crushes Professor X, who's down here at 23, all the way up here at 26, even outperforming Blue Dragon, who has some insane... Um, you know, stage requirements that she's available for with uh, 125. So he actually clocks in at 130 different world boss stages that he is available for. And since his power level is quite high, although I can't show you at tier four, um, he should be able to do the majority of those as well. On top of the world boss legend value, he also has ABX value. Now, ABX ABL value is obviously going to depend on what you're looking for and what your roster needs. And again, I can't show you that right now. But what you can see here from people like Puppet Titan and Free to Play Adventures, uh, Cable is is scoring or outscoring the otherwise reigning champ of ABX ABL for the male hero mutant type, which would be Professor X. And we actually talked about this when we were doing the updated video on ABL that right now he is the champ uh, Professor X here with Storm being a very close second in some cases because it's just a blast hero mutant day. Um, but now it seems like Cable is going to just de facto take over that day. Now, of course, Cable does not compete with Storm for female mutant hero, so he's not relevant there. And then from what we know so far, Cable is also not able to outperform um, Magneto on the ABX day for Blast Male. Uh, Magneto is very hard to catch. He's just so stacked for ABX, ABL. Uh, so, you know, I don't... We don't Players and, and content creators in general are not really expecting Cable to outperform him. And right now, there are players who can already cap in ABX with Magneto. So Cable is a bit redundant in that sense. So not a huge not a huge value bump here from Cable and ABL, um, but certainly uh, at least one day that he's able to uh, do very well in, which is Blast Hero Mutant, which is absolutely valuable to some players. Now let's see how he does against stage 29 of Gore. We're going to take him in here with an optimal team with both Riri and um, White Fox and see how he performs. This is a really good test for him, both offensively and defensively, because Gore hits really hard and because Gore is also much, much tankier than uh, Null. So we're going to get a good idea of what Cable can do offensively as well as how he performs uh, defensively. Now, there we go, pop that off. Uh, another thing to, to note with Cable is that because he can go to tier four, it means he can also go to level 80. Because he can go to 80, he may be the type of character that just doesn't perform well until 80 or until tier four. That's always a possibility with characters. Now, in Cable's case, it doesn't seem to be the issue. Like this is actually pretty good uh, for a level 70. And we usually uh, cap out for level 80s uh, or on that cap out, but like level 70 is usually cap out at around this stage anyways. Uh, for villains, it's 34 of gore. So this is, you know, not much lower than that. Um, but it's good to see that he's able to do something. Now this stage, this part of the stage mechanic seems to be a bit of a struggle for him. Cable doesn't have the greatest AOE, but we'll see if we can make this work because otherwise, uh, yeah, this might be, uh, this might be it for him. Let's see if we can get a kill here on this guy. Yeah, okay, that was really close. A lot closer than uh, it kind of should have been. But there we go. We can pop off actually without the fourth skill. We don't get the frenzy buff. But we do still get some damage in and we push him a little bit closer to... Uh, oh, 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 we're in trouble here. Oh, whoa, very close to dying. And also didn't get any healing. That's really cool. Okay, there we go. Not sure what happened. We died. Didn't know why I didn't heal in the third skill when I pressed it, but we're back. And we're doing pretty good for the time here. Maybe a little bit faster than the last run uh, due to some, you know, better piloting by me. But yeah, I think you definitely want to go, as soon as I say that, I screw it up. You definitely want to go three, four, five um, on the combo when you are um, setting up for the tier three. I think it definitely adds a lot more damage. You can see some nice tracking from Cable's uh, skill combo there, but... Uh, definitely a little bit squishier than I would have liked him to be at least at tier 370 but this is a decently high stage of gore so I can't forgive him I can't forgive him sorry uh, for that a little bit here okay we do have invincibility when we pop the um, 
the co the, the co-op skill, but we do get shredded by that attack. Which is pretty brutal. That's the combo we wanted to pull off. Okay. There it is. There it is. The three, four, five, six. I think that does really well damage wise. And then you can just straight combo that into the next one. I'm actually having a hard time noticing, but I think if you instant cancel the third skill, I don't know if you're getting the heal. That's absolutely an issue, and you might have to... Uh, I don't know, man. The devs might have to look into that. I really hate skills that have really important abilities like heals that don't trigger right away. Um, now, in mentioning that he's very good for ABL and, and you know, meta for ABL, um, it is worth mentioning that um, he... Uh, also works with a rage and that sort of goes without saying but it's certainly worth mentioning since uh you know it's uh how you would use him what's really cool as you saw there is he actually jumps back just out of the range of gore's uh purple circle when you um oh i did the wrong rotation i did three four five shit see that i'm, I'm telling you that muscle memory that muscle memory matters um but he jumps out of the way just of gore's uh purple skill when you use the tier three, which I actually find uh, to be really, really cool. There, we didn't even pass the proc. I'm playing really badly right now, but I'm trying to uh, analyze what's going on as we run through here. So this is why, this is part of the reason why I'm struggling anyways. The, the whole arena is just full of shit. I can like barely see what's going on. And uh, yeah, the issue here with, with Cable's heal is, is coming into full view. And he's actually dead again. I'm not going to run this one through again. Uh, I'm actually pretty annoyed with uh, how that went. I think he has the, certainly has the damage to clear it. But uh, it does get very annoying in the second half of the fight against Gore. And Cable's healing certainly does showcase its limitations. Now, I feel like I saw the heal pop twice. Even though I only pressed the third skill once. So I might be tripping out. But it may be a two second heal. Which would make it a 30% heal. Um, but I, I don't know. It seemed like it seemed like the healing wasn't really doing much. Um, it does seem like the heal resets. I do see the resetting. It pops once, and then it kind of flickers and it pops again. So it actually might be a 30% heal. I haven't sat down and really looked at it. But in any event, whether it's a 15% heal or a 30% heal, it doesn't seem to be cutting it for him um, in that in that part of the fight. And it does make it quite frustrating to position yourself and to get your combos off. And although he has good t targeting for his abilities, he doesn't seem to have very good AoE. So the level 70 summary looks something like this. Very high DPS, absolutely an upgrade over the old uniform, different rotation, but still proc friendly and also rage proc friendly. The con on the con side of things, as a mutant, as a blast type, still pretty squishy, uh, questionable healing at times. And then although he has very good targeting, which is a, pro with which is a pro, he does have a lower AOE than you would like for certain phases where you have to hit a lot of mobs uh, that aren't coming to you like that gore phase. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the rundown for Cable here. He has amazing um, abilities as well. I didn't touch on that, but uh, Machine, Leadership, and Weapons Master are some of the best abilities in the game. If he had these abilities and he was a female uh, human speed type, he would be available for like 50, uh, you know, he'd, he'd be available for like 250 world boss stages. Anyways, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of Cable. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.